Hi everyone, last week Microsoft has released SQL Assessment API. So in this video, I am going to provide information of SQL Assessment API. So what is SQL Assessment API? So it is a mechanism to evaluate the configuration of your SQL Server for best practices. This API is delivered with a rule set containing a best practices rules suggested by a SQL Server team. It is useful when you want to make sure your SQL Server configuration is in line with the recommended best practices. Also, you can track this configuration by regularly schedule assessment. Right now, this API is available of SQL Server version 2012 and higher and current version of rule set is for SQL on Windows only. Might be in future Microsoft will release this rule set for Linux also. SQL Assessment API is a part of SQL Server Management Object and SQL Server PowerShell module July 2019 release version and higher. Thanks for watching. See you in a demo. So I have downloaded a latest version of PowerShell module and in this new version of PowerShell module, I am getting two new commands, SQL assessment item and invoke SQL assessment. Now first, SQL assessment item give the list of available rules in SQL assessment API. So let's first run and check the list of rules available in the SQL assessment. Let me clear the screen. Let's run this command SQL. Uh, so from first command, I am getting the database name. So my database name is AdventureWorks 2014. And in the second command, I, I am getting the list of rules available in the as assessment item. So run. So here I am getting a seven rules available for a database. Now I want to invoke this SQL assessment item in an instance level as well as the database level. So first let's invoke this assessment in an instance level. So the command is the same get SQL instance pass the instance name and invoke the SQL assessment. Now I am storing the result in a SQL table. So for that I am creating one database SQL assessment demo schema is assessment and table name is a result. So let's quickly run this command. Okay, done. Now let's open the SSMS and refresh the database. Now SQL assessment demo database created. Go to the tables and click select the result data. So now I was invoking the SQL assessment for an instance level. So now I am getting all the result here. Target path, link, check name, check ID and in a messaged column I am getting whole details in a detail level. And this is a target time because I, I have invoked uh, this command in instance level that's why the target type is a server. So now let's see the check name is deprecated or discontinue feature should not be used. So might be in my instant I have used the deprecated or discontinue features. And here the Microsoft also provide the link. So you can directly go through this link to get a more detail. Now let's invoke this command for a database level. So I here so the command is same get SQL database server instance and the database name adventure work 2014 invoke assessment and I am writing a result in a same table. Okay, so let's quickly run. Wait for a second. Yeah, now let's run the select statement. Okay, so now I am getting the two additional line as per the database level. So this is adventure work 2014. What is the warning? Query store should be on. So this is why uh, it's give the uh, enable the query store to improve the performance troubleshooting. And here it is give the link. Second is yeah the second is very good information. Foreign key constraint 
should have a corresponding indexes okay now in the message column you will, you will get all the foreign key list having no index so what microsoft recommended microsoft we recommend you to corresponding index on every foreign key so these are the foreign key list now let's quickly check so now so if you here if you check here in the our first command we are getting the rules list so the seven list uh, the seventh number line item is foreign key constant should have corresponding index so i have invoked this command now let's change the configuration of adventure sql uh, adventure work 2014 and disable the auto update statistics false click on ok button and now i am invoking sql assessment again for the adventure works sql 2014 database so let's quickly run okay done so now let's see now here here you are getting the one more warning auto update statistic should be on so here the microsoft give the message turn a auto update statistics option to improve the query performance so using sql assessment api you can make sure that your sql server configuration is in line with the microsoft best practices i would recommend to invoke this a uh, sql assessment api and check your sql server configuration thank you for watching see you in the next video